Harold Frederick Shipman was born on the 14th of January 1946. He was regarded very highly by a lot of people that were under his care. A lot of them saw him not just as a doctor, but as a friend as well. This is the first glimpse inside the surgery of the Doctor of Death. Kathleen Grundy's body was exhumed, killed patients, gave her a massive dose of change medical to records, falsely record diseases to end their lives. Harold Shipman had a good reputation as a doctor. But as time went on, it was the sheer number of patients that died while under his care that was starting to arouse suspicion. The receptionist heard Dr. Shipman take Mrs. Lomas to the treatment room, and about 10 minutes later, the doctor announced she was dead. He was prepared to kill anyone if he could psychologically find a justification for it. And at one point, he was killing up to eight people a month. As such a trusted figure in the community, he was able to abuse that trust in order to commit his murders. It's a very powerful position to be in, to, to have done something, and only you know. A healthy 79-year-old was killed by Shipman and his grandfather. I just think this is somebody who craved power. Shipman would commit a murder, usually at the victim's home. He regularly visited several elderly patients. He was targeting vulnerable patients where he felt he could get away with it. I don't think that Shipman would have stopped killing if he hadn't been caught. There is no end to this particular cycle because he believes that he will never get caught. He believes he's not subject to the rules that other people are subject to.